The ink tool is the default tool you will use in Gravity Sketch. Lines created with the ink tool have tapered ends and can vary in width depending on the input method. The ink tool is a great tool to do loose sketches with as the tapered ends give it a more sketch-like feel. When opening up a new file, the ink tool is selected by default. However, to access the ink tool, press the purple button on your non-drawing hand to bring up the tools menu and point and click on the ink tool here. It is the first tool in the tools menu. To create with the ink tool, simply pull and hold the index trigger on your drawing hand controller and move your hand in space. By default, the curve you sketch will have tapered ends. To access the ink tool settings, press the purple button on your non-drawing hand controller to bring up the tools menu again and press on the ink tool icon here. Here you can choose input method, the stroke profile, size, and shape, access additional settings, and enable polar symmetry. The speed input mode changes the thickness of the line based on the speed you move your controller. The pressure input mode changes the thickness of the line based on the pressure applied to the index trigger. The tapered input mode is the default mode and simply tapers the ends of the curve that you draw. You can use the slider and options below it to change the profile and size of your stroke. Simply point at the circle and pull the front trigger on your drawing hand and move the circle around. This is essentially like changing your brush size and shape in a drawing app. The additional options here let you customize the look and feel of your curves. Each of these options are covered in separate videos. Below the slider, you will also find polar symmetry, which lets you create a polar array of strokes, great for creating wheels, jet engines, or other designs that call for radial symmetry. Moving the slider will indicate how many copies of a stroke you will create around an axis, up to 12 copies. To set the axis for polar symmetry, once enabled, pull the front index trigger on your non-drawing hand. Pulling the trigger all the way will give you full control of the direction of the axis. To snap the axes to be vertical or horizontal, or parallel to the X, Y, and Z axes, gently pull the index trigger on your non-drawing hand, no more than 50% pressure, and move the controller to orient the axis.